Technology has literally taken over every aspect of life in the 21st century, and the creative and visual arts have not been spared. In fact, for the younger generations, art, as you know, it is defined by technology, from its creation, to its manipulation, to its reproduction, and even to its distribution. So what is technology-based art? Technology-based art is essentially computer-generated or manipulated. Through the centuries, visual artists used actual brushes and palettes and a whole array of paints, inks, and natural pigments applied to paper, canvas, fabric, stucco walls, and ceilings. Today's computer artists employ the ever-expanding powers of image manipulation programs and applications to create their works which can appear in an entire range of media, whether as a physical output or a visual experience. Computer or Digital Arts Computer art or digital art first came on the scene in the early 1960s. Understandably, this was due to the technology that was constantly developing and that became available at that time. Thus, the early experimenters were not necessarily artists, but engineers and scientists who had access to and experience with the hardware needed. It was they who began to recognize the potential of artistic expression through the application of scientific and mathematical principles. In fact, even in the sample works we present here, you will note a strong scientific or mathematical look and feel to the creation of many digital artists. Geometric forms and repeating patterns appear frequently. More traditional subjects like human beings, landscapes, animals, and still life elements are simply incorporated as part of those forms and patterns rather than as the main focus. Also understandable was the initial reaction of the public to computer-generated art. There were questions as to whether it was, in fact, true art since it made use of electronic and mechanical devices rather than the artist's own hand to produce the images and effects. Within a few years, however, there was a general acceptance of digital art as an exciting and truth-provoking form of modern art. Exhibits of computer art became highly popular and critically acclaimed as digital artists or computer art masters or superstars came to the fore in Europe, Russia, and the United States. Some digital artists have even used their works to express their views on political, social, and cultural issues, as well as to advocate causes that are critically to modern life, such as the environment and climate change. Others even explore the philosophical relationship between science and technology and the arts. In our country, Filipino artists were likewise influenced by the technology trend in art. However, this was more in the commercial sphere. From the 1960s to the 1990s, their computer-generated works were primarily geared towards illustrating for international comic books. In fact, Filipino illustrators earned quite a reputation for their talents and were highly in demand in this field. 
they eventually became equally sought after as animators for some of the major films production companies in the United States, as well as animated television series produced in different countries. Eventually, the concept of computer-generated works as a means of serious artistic expression gained ground among the younger generation of local artists. Today, even the more established names in the field, artists and critics alike, have come to accept and recognize digital works as fine art. To view works by Philippine artists employing digital art techniques, you may visit the website of the more progressive museum and art organizations. Among these are the Center for Art and Thought, Vivian Art, the Ateneo Art Gallery, and Lumchenko Museum. There are also institutions offering training courses on the digital arts, such as the First Academy of Computer Arts, the Philippine Center for Creative Imaging, as well as the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA. Through scholarships given by the Animation Council of the Philippines, courses such as this open up an array of career opportunities for young Filipinos in the fields of advertising, animation design, multimedia communication, and web development. Digital art in the hands of everyone. Computer technology has by now invaded every aspect of modern life. It was therefore inevitable that it would develop into forms and devices that could be mass-produced, mass-distributed, and therefore widely accessible to everyone. In other words, everyone with a computer device, from a desktop PC to a laptop to a tablet or Android phone, can now capture and edit images and videos, create, manipulate, and share works of art, and even compose music. You can be, and probably already are, a digital artist in your own right. So, computer or digital arts make use of electronic and mechanical devices rather than the artist's own hand to produce the desired images and effects. Thus, these are definitely technology-based art forms. In recent decades, personal gadgets such as laptops, tablets, and Android phone have incorporated the artistic capabilities of the large-scale computers. So it is now possible for anyone to be a digital artist.